And we turn now to presidential politics in this country. Barack Obama is showing more signs that he's ready to declare victory in the Democratic primary race, especially if staggering crowds mean anything, while John McCain is fending off criticism of the many lobbyists who've worked for his campaign and their connections. We have two reports tonight, beginning with NBC's Kelly O'Donnell. Today, John McCain is being judged by the company he keeps. At least five campaign aides have resigned in two weeks in a staff house cleaning over lobbying, conflicts of interest, and past work for foreign governments, including the repressive regime in Myanmar. We have a policy that we have established, and that policy is very clear. Tonight, McCain challenged Senator Obama to match his policy barring lobbyists. McCain advisors claim their new requirements are the most stringent of any campaign in history, while critics claim McCain is most concerned about how this looks. This is a real problem for a candidate who's made his career on fighting special interests. Senator Obama stepped up his own criticism today, even though he has lobbyists helping him raise money and advising him on policy. The fact is John McCain's campaign is being run by Washington lobbyists and paid for with their money. To set a new standard, McCain campaign manager Rick Davis, himself a former lobbyist, put out this memo requiring that by this evening all staff identify issues and clients that could be embarrassing for the senator and the campaign. Another senior advisor, Charlie Black, has drawn the ire of critics and liberal groups like MoveOn.org for his past work on behalf of some foreign dictators. Call John McCain and tell him to fire Charlie Black. Today, Black spoke to reporters on McCain's plane and emphasized that he retired from lobbying in March. Most of McCain's senior advisors are not getting paid. The campaign defends those who resign as honorable people in a race where the candidate is not the only one being judged.